Okay, this is a quick tip video on how to scan in a document into Google Docs using your Android phone. Now right now I have the Motorola Atrix phone in my hand here and I'm going to use it to actually scan in a document into Google Docs and that will enable me to actually edit that document either on my phone or on Google Docs on my computer. So you actually don't need a scanner to scan in a document. You can actually use the camera on your phone to scan in a document and then edit that document. So it's a pretty cool feature on Google Docs and if you don't have Google Docs on your Android phone you might want to download it. It's available right now on the Android Marketplace. Just go to Google Docs and download the the app and install it on your phone or even on your tablet if you so have one. Now in the situation right here I have Google Docs already pulled up on my phone and you'll see you have a couple of options. Now it's nice to have Google Docs on your phone so you can actually pull up documents or edit documents on the road or on the fly here if you want to do it on your phone uh, if you don't have your PC handy. Uh, the one thing I'm going to show you here for this demonstration is the Google Documents and creating a new document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on document over here and in the upper right hand corner here you have a search icon and a create new icon. I'm going to hit the create new over here and what you see here are three options. Create a new document, create a spreadsheet, or a document from photo. So I'm going to click on document from photo here and it should bring up my camera app. Now what I'm going to do uh, for this demonstration, I have a little piece of paper here from my Motorola Zoom that tells me that it will be 4G LTE upgradable. Supposedly that's coming in the summertime. Hasn't come yet uh, as of the filming of this video. It's just early May right now. So what I'm going to do, it's since I can actually, uh, it's a small set of text here just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take a picture of this and we're going to see if we can actually edit that document or edit this text here. So I'm just going to line up my phone here and actually line up the camera here. All right, I took my photo there, and if you look on the bottom here, it says retake. You'd do that, obviously, if uh, you, know, you didn't get the picture right the first time. You have a done option. That's if you think you got what you need there, and a cancel option. I'm going to hit done, and this is what you end up with. It says upload photo to docs. It gives the document a generic title here. You can change that if you'd like gives your account information here and then it says conversion options convert file to Google Docs document this account can only accept converted files so you want to convert it and hit OK down here okay it converted the document it took only about 15 seconds or so and then it gave me an option to click on it so I clicked on it and this is what I get now what it shows right here it shows the original picture that you took and it looks like it took it pretty good and below that is the actual text and I'll just read it here it says your Motorola is 4G LTE upgradable congratulations your Motorola tablet is future ready it's 4G LTE upgradable for more information on how to upgrade your Motorola Zoom tablet please please visit and then it gives a uh, a URL. Uh, when you register on this site, we'll contact you with instructions on how to perform the upgrade when it becomes available. So it looks like it did uh, a transfer pretty well. Uh, there's only a couple of things here. Uh, between future and ready, there is no space. Um, instead of on the URL, instead of www.verizonwireless.com, etc., it uh, has www.verizonwireless.com. Verizon Wireless. 
there's a little discrepancy there. And then down here, uh, contact is capitalized. But that's not so bad. There's only three small discrepancies on here. And uh, obviously, when you do something like this, it's not going to be perfect. You're pulling it from a photograph. But that's pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you definitely want to proofread this if you were doing something like this. And proofreading it and correcting it would take a lot less time than actually typing it in uh, yourself. So that's that's definitely a plus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this down here and try and make it what it was originally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top and at the top of the the page here it says all documents and then the title of the document and then it has a drop down menu and edit. Now just one note if you do pull the drop down menu down it has a print option there. So if you have a Google Cloud Print printer or Google Cloud Print set up with your uh, Windows-based PC connected to your printer, you could actually print from your phone here. I actually did a video on that previously, so if you're interested, please check that out. We're going to bring that back up, and I'm just going to show, we're going to go to edit over here. Okay, I pressed edit, and this is what comes up. It's going to allow me to edit the text down here below the picture. Now, like I said, there's not a space between future and ready, so I'm going to click there and put a space there. Now, as you see, it brought up my keyboard, and now there's a cursor right between future and ready. I was pretty good catching that and getting it on the exact spot there. I'm just going to put a space in there, and there you go. You can actually edit this text. That you, were, that you scanned from taking a picture, which to me, like I said, is pretty impressive. Let me finish up the other two edits, and then we're going to save this. Okay, I made my three edits, and now I want to save this, so I'm going to go over here and hit Refresh. So it's saved, ready to go, and I can actually pick this up on my computer if I'd like, or just revisit it at a later date. So that is how you scan text into Google Docs using your Android-powered cell phone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.